my biggest, my first question is that we all have these assumptions and the stigma based uh, around these estate agents. What would you say Kat's purpose is in being an estate agent? What is your sole purpose? Well, you know, SD, I think the first thing we can really touch base on is, especially with regards to purposes, it's a matter of need, you know. Um, purpose is always associating with dealing with a need. So if you, you will always have a need to go to the doctor, you don't need to go to the doctor, but the need will always arise. Mm -hmm. So the same thing is literally the same with real estate agents on the basis of we are practitioners and we are here to assist you um, with everything property related, you know, you don't always have to um, engage with a, with a property practitioner if you want to invest or you want to do something really big. Sometimes it can go to something as small as just knowing the value of your house. Um, it could be for insurance purposes. It could be for, um, you know, should you ever wish to sell? Um, there's been many cases uh, with divorce or with uh, deceased estates where people become so shocked with the value of their houses, you know, and having that um, that sense of knowing the true worth of your property, you know, but also on the basis of you need clarity when you're going to engage with anybody else should they come into your home. So whether it comes from a viewing, if you want to rent out your property, you know, just to have somebody to engage with on that basis. And it's true. You can actually engage with your property by yourself in the same way that if you are sick, you can take care of yourself. But you don't want to give yourself the risk of a 50% chance that you make yourself worse. In the same way with your property, you don't want to oversell it and you don't want to undersell it as well. So just uh, more than anything, the purpose is linked to clarity of need. Mm. Mm, so, that yeah. was a beautiful definition and I feel like that exactly is your purpose, right? Um, and I wanted to touch on, I don't know if you want to share your age with the viewers, but you're very young in the game, right? Extreme, you're young, but you've also been in the game for a, a kind of a short time, a year, almost reaching, you know, longer than that. And I want to find out from you, would you say that you have an advantage being a younger agent? Yes. Okay. No, definitely. Um, so for clarity's <laughs> sake, uh, I am 25, 26 next month. Yeah. Um, so essentially, my, my little time with real estate, I've actually noticed day by day, actually, with each and every transaction. It's been a matter of you really get to know people. And, but more than anything, you really get to know property because in any industry that you engage in, um, time is obviously of the essence. There will always be an advantage regardless of literally whatever industry you enter in, that age will be your advantage. Um, so I'm really happy to have actually woken up in a sense to, you know, my purpose as we've actually stated earlier. So um, my purpose in real estate. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Thank you.